right now, who do you think is best placed with those available, with the players that they have for selection, including injuries, in this title race? Arsenal remain top after their win earlier. Liverpool got the point. Aston Villa is in there. Manchester City as well. And Spurs. Who's kind of... Whose coattails do you want to ride if you're a neutral here as far as the best potential chance to win this title? Um, listen, I, I'm going to have to say Arsenal. Okay. I, I, just think, I just think overall, with all the teams that you mentioned, Arsenal are more consistent at the back, they're more consistent in the middle and more consistent up front. Could they score more goals? Yes, but they're only they're only a couple of goals behind City, Liverpool, everybody else. Uh, I think that just tells you that that if they actually hit full steam, then mm. they could cause teams an awful lot of trouble a lot more of the time than they have done this this Premier League season. You know, going forward, they haven't been at their clinical best, but yet, as I said, they're only a couple of goals off top scorers in the league. So I think right now the more the more complete team is Arsenal. That's interesting that a former Liverpool player and a huge Liverpool fan wouldn't say Liverpool. So what is Liverpool missing right well, now? What what might they need in January? Well, today today shows you we were we were just been talking about the game and yep. we actually said that Manchester United could have won the game because they had the best chance, and I think that's been Liverpool's problem all season. They give up too many opportunities. They really do. And along with City, you can't rely on them particularly. Certainly not 100% at the back. And the one team I think you can rely on defensively uh, because of, not not just because of, but particularly because of Saliba, uh, that's why I think Arsenal just edge ahead of Liverpool. I don't think there's much in it with the rest of them. I don't think Villa's got the, the squad to compete to the end of the season, as great as they've been doing. And if something happens to Ollie Watkins, mm. you know, I, I don't know where they turn. So that's why I'm going for Arsenal. And it's all about that back line and that defence. Uh, and so that's why I think just right now, I would edge them above anybody else. Okay, one more question for you, because I know you've got to go to the press conference. We're expecting a different game next week between Liverpool and Arsenal. We're expecting the game that we thought we were getting Today, what do you think Jurgen Klopp needs to work on in these next six or seven days before they play against Arsenal? And that could be a big one. Augie needs to unmute because of the noise behind. Let's see if we can work this yeah, out. Yeah, so that, that's, that, was, that was Anfield all day. It was very quiet. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I think next week's... Next week's different because Liverpool are playing as a team that will attack them. It, it was a completely different game today. So I don't know what Klopp has to work on in that sense. I think I think it will come naturally next week. I mean, obviously, it'd be better if McAllister's fit again next week because they missed him in midfield. But, I mean, Steve is going for Arsenal. I think that if Liverpool win that game next week, they're the favourites to win the title because that will be a massive win against a big title rival. You know, they're at home, sitting away and struggling right now a little bit. So I think, I think Liverpool can be the title favourites but they have to be Arsenal next week because that, that game next week has the potential to be to, to kind of dictate how the title race goes for the next six months this game today didn't, didn't have that element to it it was a horrible game but next week's different altogether it's got it's got fireworks all over it and I think I think Liverpool win that game and it's a real test of Arsenal as well how Arsenal can go to a, a big rival away from home and, and keep it tight I'm not convinced they can so I think Liverpool are 51% title favourites and are you playing Darwin Nunes? Are you Nunes playing, play or are you playing Cody Gakpo time. against Arsenal? <laughs> the I play, I, I'm playing Darwin Nunes. I, I, okay. I know he, I know he misses his chance, but I, I just think he, he, he is lively. He does make things happen, and I, he's one of those players that you have to put up with his limitations because he is 100 percent effort, commitment, and he does make things happen. He unsettles defenders, but sometimes he unsettles his teammates with his finishing. Okay, thank you, and full reaction from Mark Ogden, both written and from the press conference on ESPNFC.com. So thanks to Augie. So, LME, Stevie Nickel is going for Arsenal right now. Not who he likes the best, but this is who he thinks are in the best position to win the title. Augie's got Liverpool at 51%. You are a Villa fan. Spurs are in there. No one's even spoken about Manchester City, and they've got De Bruyne to come back, and Haaland will be back in a week or two. So what do you say about between now and the end of the season? 
Yeah, this is a really good question because what you just said at the end there, specifically with Manchester City, uh, it needs a lot of context here. Because number one, there is going to be a moment when certain players for certain teams are coming back. Manchester City cannot be ignored in this title race, okay? They have 34 points. That's only five points away from top. We have seen this before. We have been here before. They, yes, have been in trouble. They've only won one league game in the last month. That was against Luton, right? But there's a lot of football in the Premier League yet to be played. However, I'm with Stevie here. At this very moment, the favorite to me is Arsenal as well because they look like the more complete package day in and day out. Are they perfect? No, of course not. Have we seen them drop points where they probably shouldn't have? Yes, we have. But I think overall, under Mikel Arteta, this season, they know better who they are than any other time. The only thing, and I think I said it to you a few weeks ago, Andy, is that in January, I think it's very crucial for them to look at another striker because I think that it's going to be very important to see how much you can rely, especially if you're still in the Champions League and you're still continuing to try and chase other trophies that are not the Premier League, you're going to need. Now, Gabriel Jesus was great today. He scored today, of course. That was very important for them. But can you rely on Gabriel Jesus and Eddie and Ketcher all the way to the end? I'm not so sure. So they need to just add some pieces in January. If that's a striker, great. We hear that Victor Rosenman is going nowhere in Napoli. So is Ivan Tony going to be the price target? We'll have to wait and see. After that, um, yeah, I think Liverpool are up there. The next weekend is going to be up. And, and mathematically speaking, I don't care what anybody says. Aston Villa is in this title race right now. 38 points, the same as Liverpool. One point of Arsenal off top. Yes, things can go wrong in the next few months, but right now, you cannot say that that's not happening. And yes, the squad is definitely missing some pieces. Tyron Minx is not there yet. Emiliano Wendia is not there yet. Alex Moreno has just returned from injury. But this is a very good team. But I do share uh, Stevie's issue. If Ollie Watkins goes off injured, I'm not completely relying on myself on the Colombian Yonhara Duran. So there's still a lot to play. But Arsenal, to me, remain the favourites to win this Premier League title. 